Hello, I'm Christina with The Turned Leg. I love to salvage, repurpose, and create and help others to do the same. And recently, I attended SOAR, which stands for Southwestern Ohio Artists Retreat. Now, this event happens every year, and I'm encouraging all of you, if you want more information about how to attend, they'll be in the description below. Get on the mailing list and find out more about it. But while I was there, I got to see amazing artists in action. Kelly Weiler, Girl Up Cycled Studios was there, Dion Woods from the Turquoise Iris, and Debbie Beard from Debbie's Design Diary. All of their information will be below too. And all of them are also YouTubers. So make sure to follow them, like, and subscribe. Some amazing artists. Debbie Beard is creator of DIY Paint, which many of you know I am a retailer for. And I was so awestruck by the piece that Debbie created at the event. So this piece that I'll be working on today was inspired by Debbie Beard. This was how Debbie Beard's piece started out. It was painted with a coat of mint chip DIY paint. For this project, I will be using all DIY paint. DIY paint is a clay-based paint that is just awesome for blending. To purchase any of the paint or products that I'll be using in this video, you can go to my online store at shopthetornedleg.com or visit my booth at Plaza Antiques and Collectibles Mall in Lincoln Park, Michigan. This is the piece that I will be using. The first step is to remove all the hardware. And then it's right to painting. I love DIY paint because there's no prep. You just get started. The first coat is done. For more information on how to use DIY paint, you can click on the link to the full tutorial above. DIY paint lightens as it dries, so I like to set my pieces in the sun to get nice and dry before I start with my next step. This is a picture of Debbie getting started on her piece. While I was there, I tried to make a list of most of the products that she was using. And I'm gonna get started too. Once again, this is inspired by Debbie Beard. So I'm gonna use the colors, but I'm also gonna do my own thing. I'm starting with a cherry picked from DIY Paint and Kissing Booth. Blending paint doesn't really have to be difficult. I think a lot of times our brain gets in the way of the process. I recommend just painting. I am using the same brush for this whole process on a lot of water from my Fine Mist Water Girl spray bottle. For more information on how to blend, you can click on the link to the video above. Are you enjoying this video? If so, take a second, click that like button and subscribe. Also, if you click the bell, you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. It really helps me to continue to grow my channel to help others to salvage, repurpose, and create. This is why I love DIY paint. I'm painting right in my dining room today over my wood floor. 
With DIY paint, the cleanup is so easy. You don't have to worry if you get paint anywhere. You can just wipe it clean when you're done. Next, I chose to add in the yellows. I'm using Cake Batter and Queen Bee from DIY Paint. I'm sorry to say that my camera did not cooperate for this painting part and it did not tape the footage. But I did add these colors along with the other three to the right hand side of the piece. Next, I thought we needed some petticoat pink from DIY Paint. I am just gonna add the paint anywhere I think it needs a little brightening, making sure to use lots of water to blend things in, and still the same brush. Just adding colors as I think are needed. If you're doing a blended finish, this is your time to have fun. Feel like an artist, be an artist, and just enjoy the whole process. I'm now adding back in some of the darker colors for a little bit of balance. Let's take a look at the inspiration again. Here is Debbie's piece. Check out the side. That is cherry picked from DIY Paint and Petal Pusher. What a great combination. So it's time to turn my attention to the side of my piece. Same combination of paint colors on the top with a little bit of a more subtle blend. I do this by dipping my paintbrush randomly into both of the colors at the same time and painting. I also did the same colors on the other side too. Once the piece was dry, it was time for the next step. DIY paint does lighten as it dries, so those rich tones will be back once the piece is sealed. For this next step, I am using the DIY making powders, just like Debbie Beard did. The first color I'm using is Van Gogh, and the way Debbie uses these powders is after you've put DIY paint on your piece, you shake a little bit of the powders out. You then grab yourself a small brush and water. Dip your brush into water, and then dip it right into the making powder. You don't need much, you want to create a paint. And then paint it right on the surface of your piece. These colors are going to reactivate the paint underneath and blend in. You then want to apply more just straight water to mix everything and blend it in. This adds amazing tones and highlights. Now I'm adding in violaceous making powder with the same process. I continued using making powders wherever was needed. I used bright side and patchouli too all over the piece.
I know Debbie also used DIY paint to create texture on her piece and the DIY Bohemian Brights, but I kind of liked where my piece was at, so I decided I would not be adding those in. Now it was time to seal my piece with DIY wax. First, putting on a nice clear coat. If you need more help with using DIY wax, you can click on the link to the video above. Now it's time for a little DIY dark wax to add a little depth to the piece. As long as there's clear wax underneath, you can apply your dark wax wherever you want and wipe it back to get exactly the look you want. I allow my wax to dry 24 hours before buffing and then the piece will be finished. Sure, you can buff with just a rag, but I love my buffing brush that I attach to my drill. It buffs so quickly and effortlessly. And just look at the end result. I'm so pleased with how this piece turned out. We all need a little creative recharge every once in a while, don't you agree? Let's take a look and how this piece turned out inspired by Debbie Beard. Thanks so much for watching this video. Now get out there to salvage, repurpose, and create.